It's time to Crimbus. So here we are just days before Christmas, and I thought maybe I should play Days Before Christmas. What, are you expecting a better intro? It's the holidays, I'm relaxing. Days Before Christmas is a Christmas-themed platformer where you play as the big man, old Saint Nick himself. It was only ever officially released in Europe and Australia, and was developed by a Norwegian company called Funcom, and published by Sunsoft. The people who brought you my recently replayed childhood disappointment, Arrow the Acrobat. Yeah, there he is now. Yeah, you better hide behind that logo. The game was released on a couple different systems, including the Sega Genesis, or as it's called in Europe, the Sega Mega Drive. But we're gonna stick to the old Super Nintendo, or as it's called in Europe, the Super Nintendo. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Well, that's creepy. Was that Santa Claus or Satan Claus? Wow, what an interesting title screen. Jeez, I didn't realize Santa had so many enemies. But look at him, laughing in the face of danger. That's the spirit, Santa. Whoa, what the heck is that? I guess that Satan Claus joke wasn't far off. Saint Nick, more like Satanic, am I right? Wow, look at that face. If that's not a face of a senile old man, I don't know what is. Oh, look, he had a little accident on his way up there. Maybe Santa should put some depends on his Christmas list. The game is pretty simple. You run around, jump, and shoot. Every once in a while, you'll see presents laying around, and you shoot them to release imprisoned elves, health pickups, lives, or, most of the time, bombs and enemies. The enemies you'll face range from rats to penguins to spiders to evil toys, and that's pretty much it for the most part. And when you shoot them with your... snow, I guess, they become presents. Well, that seems kind of messed up. Hey, Timmy, you know that new Call of Duty game you wanted for Christmas this year? Well, here's a spider. Yeah, have fun with that. The levels are very samey throughout the game. Like, you will actually see repeated level designs in various parts of the games, all with the same boring environments. And I mean boring environments. Oh boy, look at this, it's snow. Oh look, there's more snow. Hey, did you by chance see all the snow? Boring and repetitive as the level design is, the game is actually kind of fun. The controls are responsive and the platforming feels like it should. Santa actually has weight to him, and jumps feel like you should expect from an old-fashioned platformer. I think the best part about this whole game is the title screens at the start of each level. Santa's faces of pure shock and awe in most of them just brings Christmas cheer to my day. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? A nice cup of hot cocoa? Ooh, well doesn't that sound delightful? Might I partake? I've got the marshmallows. <laughs> No, get this devil's nectar away from me! Can't you see what it's done to even the saintiest of nicks? Yes, that's right. Picking up a cup of hot cocoa turns Santa Claus into what is apparently called Anti-Claus. It makes you temporarily invincible, and instead of shooting ice, you just grab enemies in your Christmas sack, never to be seen or heard from again. Moving on from that traumatizing experience, every once in a while you'll come across bonus levels where you fly around in Santa's sleigh, delivering presents to children across the world. You'll visit places like Britain, Japan, Russia, and even the old US of A. Hey Santa, maybe while you were there you could have delivered a few copies of this game. Yep, that's America alright. There's the Statue of Liberty, right down the street from the old Golden Gate Bridge. Oh, and they even remembered to put in the footballs that fly through the sky every Christmas Eve. It's the little touches. The messed up thing is, the only chimneys you're supposed to drop presents into are the ones with the smoke coming out of them. Meaning that there's currently a fire down there. So... All those enemies you turned into presents... are... Oh. I think Santa knew exactly what he was doing. That's right, kids. Think about that. When you come downstairs on Christmas morn after a restless night dreaming of sugar plums, and then you come down to the smell of roasted chestnuts and think, Ooh, that's delightful. Well, that's not roasted chestnuts. No, that's roasted Chester the rat, taken from his home in a dusty old attic. Brought there, just for you. Enjoy. Throughout the game, there are four bosses that you'll face. First, there's this terrifying snowman. Happy birthday! No, no, not that one. This one. Okay, he's not as intimidating as he looks. He's actually really easy. The next boss is this giant clock that you'll fight on a half pipe for some reason. Hey buddy, maybe you shouldn't throw all those cogs at me. Don't you need those inside of you to live? Then there's this giant rat holding a breadstick. He's actually kinda challenging compared to the first two bosses. 
you have to lure him underneath this giant weight just in time to drop it on him, which then stuns him so you can attack. You do have to go through it a few times, which is easier said than done, but then eventually... Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, each boss explodes into a bunch of presents each time you defeat them. It caught me off guard each time, but it's pretty funny. Finally, at the end of the game, we come face to face with Mr. Weather. By the looks of him, this is surely going to be a challenge to remember against a truly evil entity. Okay, I mean, that's not even kinda close. Whoever the artist was for these title screens really took some liberties with that one. The level is kinda cool and then it's kinda like a shoot 'em up, but you literally just fight him and that's it. It is kinda hard, mainly because there seems to be some kind of trick to actually damaging him, which I could never quite figure out and sorta just got lucky. It really doesn't help that the lightning he shoots at you is gray and blends in oh so nicely with the gray background. So while trying to focus on hitting him in the right spot, you also have to focus on avoiding his camouflaged projectiles. At last, Mr. Weather goes down. Now Santa can finally sit and relax with his old pal Rudolph creepily watching over him, surely plotting his demise. But doesn't that just put you in the Christmas spirit and make you want to sit by a nice warm fire with a nice hot drink? Well, none of that devil's cocoa for me, thank you very much. Now I'll stick to my holiday favorite, hot milk and glitter. I scalded myself. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more, feel free to check out one of these other videos you see here on the screen. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can also follow me by looking up The Portly Gamer on the social networks below.